With so many streaming services and the number of scripted original series on broadcast, cable, and streaming outlets having ballooned to 500 in recent years, it can be hard to know what to watch first. Despite the crowded TV landscape, several shows broke through in 2021 to massive success. Here are five new streaming series that got viewers talking this year. While it premiered at the tail end of 2020, hitting Netflix on Christmas Day, Bridgerton dominated the pop culture conversation at the beginning of 2021. We can pretend to form an attachment. Pairing like that would be most enchanting indeed. Viewers couldn't get enough of the Duke of Hastings, aka Reggae Jean Page, launching the actor to A-list star status. He since landed roles in the upcoming Dungeons and Dragons movie and the Russo Brothers action thriller The Grey Man. Page, much to fans' dismay, won't return for season two, but new episodes are set to premiere in 2022. While season one told Daphne Bridgerton's love story, season two will focus on that of her older brother, played by Jonathan Bailey. It's also worth noting the fan favorite show received 13 2021 Emmy nominations and took home one trophy. WandaVision also helped kick off 2021 with a bang. Premiering in January, it marked Marvel's first original series to debut on Disney+. Our home. Then let's fight for it. WandaVision earned 23 Emmy nominations and took home three of those awards in 2021. It also received four 2022 Critics' Choice Award nominations, including acting nominations for stars Elizabeth Olsen, Paul Bettany, and Katherine Hahn, as well as a nod for Best Limited Series. Disney Plus and Marvel also saw success in 2021 with fellow live-action series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, and most recently, Hawkeye. And while WandaVision was intended to be only a limited series, Marvel fans can see more of Olsen's Wanda Maximoff in the 2022 feature film Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Disney Plus and Marvel also have a WandaVision spin-off series centering on Han's character Agatha Harkness in the works titled Agatha House of Harkness. Over on HBO Max, Hack starring Gene Smart emerged as a hit and an awards contender for the Warner Media owned streamer. Get big, there's no sense of excitement, no risk that people are going to hate you. Oh, come on. Plenty of people can still hate you. That was good. <laughs> The critically acclaimed show received 15 2021 Emmy nominations and took home three awards, including Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series, Outstanding Directing for a Comedy Series, and Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series for Smart. It also received three 2022 Critics' Choice Award nominations. No surprise, Hacks has been renewed for a second season. Hulu's Only Murders in the Building saw comedy icon Steve Martin and Martin Short team up with actress Selena Gomez to great success. I can't stop thinking about this. Neither can I. We should do our own true crime podcast. We're going to go down there and look around for clues. Do you want to come? Hulu says the show had the highest premiere day tune-in for any comedy series, original or acquired, in the history of the platform. The series received four 2022 Critics' Choice Award nominations, including acting nominations for all three stars and a nod for Best Comedy Series. Only Murders in the Building has been renewed for a second season. And this list wouldn't be complete if we didn't mention Squid Game. The Korean drama took Netflix and the world by storm in 2021. The streamer tweeted on October 12th, Squid Game has officially reached 111 million fans, making it our biggest series launch ever. Netflix later revealed that figure reached 142 million viewers within the show's first four weeks. The nine-episode series about a group of players competing in children's games for a cash prize with deadly high stakes received three 2022 Critics' Choice Award nominations, including one for Best Drama Series. Following Squid Game dropping on Netflix in September, the show's creator told The Hollywood Reporter in early November, I do have a basic storyline for season two. It's all in my head, and I'm currently in the brainstorming stage. It will happen someday, but as for when, I cannot tell you the details. For the latest TV news, go to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.